And next up, please welcome to the stage, Joel Chamorro. Until I was 16, I never realized that I was pathetically nearsighted. My ocular Achilles was discovered during the eye exam for my inaugural driver's license. Up to that point, I had somehow managed to slide under the tag of social Darwinism, but all of the squinting, scrunching, and straining couldn't stop me from failing it like a drunken circus bear. So the day following my 16th June 20th, I stepped into my local eye center. Cornea copia. And as the optometrist grilled me through a visual interrogation, I cracked under the pressure, missing letters that I could clearly recognize. And with each miss, the strength of the lenses increased. Until I could see through the chart and into the cracks on the walls. Yes! This would be my prescription. So two days later, I acquired my first set of bifocals and experienced the hyper-real. Images flooded and saturated my cerebral matter, where the receptionist once sat a bundle of veins and organs appeared. Walls and doors began to resemble chiffon. If 2020 is eye candy, then this was like snorting pixie stick dust. Breath appeared in puffs of steam, bad breath brown, fresh breath blue. I was able to recognize lies by the green venom that highlighted the puffs of exhaled life. I tried to eat, but bacteria would wave at me in unison as a tuna melt neared my chops. Finally, I began to detect malignant lumps in some of the organs I came into contact with. Smiling flesh with no idea that an unwelcome guest had made itself at home. What was once an optical ecstasy became Pandora-powered spectacles that I could no longer handle. I smashed my passport to the hyper-real and modified my prescription. But sometimes I remember the hyper-real, the puffs, points, and lumps. IQs cues that became an ultra-vivid sight for my sore eyes. And I realized that some things are best kept secret in order to keep everything else in focus. <laughs>